Okay, in uh, this video, I'm just going to give you a little insight to one of the nice little features you can be found in IronCAD Mechanical, which is an add-on uh, to the IronCAD base program. Uh, and what I did is, what we're going to show in this video is um, being able to dimension to the center of the gravity of this assembly. If you see, I already have the icon there, and if for anybody that's um, not familiar what how to get that icon it's under your annotation COG, uh, COG display and I added it you can hide it it goes away but if you go back in and um, if these icons look funny it's only because I have the window shrunk down that's why <coughs> um, so we'll put it back on just to show you whoops let's do it again did I do it you got to add it back in and you can also um, show the details so it gives you the XYZ of where it's located okay now this is just a graphical um, representation that's not a physical piece uh, or geometry it's just a graphical thing showing you where the center of gravity is right and it gives you the coordinates but some people want to create a drawing and they, you know, I created this one real quick here. And how do you dimension to the center of gravity, right? If you right-click and you hit shaded view, it shows it to you, but it's still just a graphic. You can't dimension to it. So, what's nice in the new IronCAD Mechanical is you have um, this IronCAD Mechanical Utilities catalog, and you see you get a there's a whole bunch you get with the program which you can't see as well here but but under the utilities ones there's sphere on COG center of gravity right so what you do is when you drag this tool out it'll put a little sphere right at where the center of gravity is uh, the thing with this tool is it works in millimeters so if you drag this tool out it's gonna the, the dimensions the coordinates is gonna compensate millimeter. So what you want to do is make sure that you're in millimeters first before using the tool. All right, we highlight the assembly and then we just drag that in the background and you see it puts a little sphere right there. And if we were to hide everything else, you see boom, it's perfect. All right. What it is is now it's a physical piece of geometry. You don't have to include it in a bill of material or anything. But when you um, come back and you open up your drawing, you see if you have hidden lines on, you could see it now. Okay? And for instance, you can't dimension, dimension to hidden parts. So what you want to do is basically temporarily hide the parts that are in front of it. Okay? And now you can dimension to it. Okay, and I'm just gonna throw one in there for now. And uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Put all our parts back on, and you can see now you are dimensioning to your center of gravity. Okay. Um, hopefully you'll find this useful. I know a couple of uh, clients have requested this, and this this could be an answer to what they're looking for. All right. Enjoy.